Following several incidents around the state where officers have been shot or killed, the governor's office is giving law enforcement across the state the opportunity to apply for rifle resistant body armor. CBS 4's Joel Flores explains how this will affect officers right here in the valley. Cities and counties across Texas have started submitting grant applications for rifle resistant body armor to better protect their law enforcement officers. Basically, this is something additional that can go over your somebody armor. And this is rifle play rate, meaning that uh, for high risk situations, for high incidents. During the recent legislative session, lawmakers approved $25 million for the program. This after the deadly attack on Dallas police in July 2016. The governor's office is administering the grant program, and among local agencies interested, the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office has requested over 370 sets. If approved, it will cost around $259,000. Currently, uh, just the, uh, the, the deputies that, were, that are assigned to the um, uh, special response team they're the only ones that have that type of level of uh, uh, protection. Uh, of course, with this grant now, it would, it would uh, apply to all my deputies. This rifle-resistant ballistic body armor will help protect all law enforcement right here in the Valley during high-risk incidents, such as active shooter situations. Since we are on the, on the border and we, uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of uh, cartel activity happening across the border in situations where, where we have that, that uh, the chance where that activity will, will uh, come across. San Juan Police Chief Juan Gonzalez says his SWAT team is being called out at least twice a month to assist local, state, and federal agencies execute high-risk warrants and says 90 percent of the time suspects are found to be in possession of high-powered rifles. His department has also submitted their application for 50 sets at a cost of around $36,000. This is for those situations in which our officers need additional protection, especially working so close to the border. Vehicle pursuits usually wind up at the border. In Hidalgo County, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Mission, Palm View, and Sullivan City Police, as well as Hidalgo County Constables, Precincts 1 and 3, have also applied for that grant.